plaintiff, Brittany Zelke, says six months after she started dating the defendant, he became abusive. And that's when she discovered he was addicted to heroin. Brittany claims she called the police on the defendant after he assaulted her when she was seven months pregnant. And she's suing him today for a loan. Defendant Dante Neal says he was in college when he started dating Brittany, but he had to drop out and start working because she became pregnant. Dante says he thought the money from Brittany was a gift, and he's countersuing because he claims Brittany maced him. Start with you. Um, yes, I met the defendant when probably I'm about 17 years old. How old are you now? 23. All right, so six years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. I moved in with him shortly right after I met him, like the first date. <laughs> and um, about six months into what the... What was so impressive about him that caused you to move in the day you met him? I was 17 years old. I wanted to get away from home. Okay. We just kind of clicked and... I just moved in. Go ahead. Um, about six months into the relationship was when things started to get real rocky. Um, I started to catch him cheating on me through Facebook, through his cell phone. Um, he was leaving his lunch breaks at work to be with his ex-girlfriend. Um, he tried to talk to one of my best friends um, behind my back, thinking that she wouldn't tell me. Um, then the physical abuse and the drug abuse started. What or, type of drug abuse? Uh, heroin addiction. And you think it just started six months after you met no, him? No, I just really started to notice Either it. you drove the man on heroin or he was, off, <laughs> or he was already on the heroin when he met you, ma'am. What type of abuse? Tell me what. Um, he, what, there was no, like, punching. He would just choke me. <laughs> uh, so, the... All right, that's better. That's good to know that that's all it was. No, no punching, just choke you to the edge of life. Good, that's... <laughs> I'm glad to hear that's all it was. Go ahead. <laughs> so it was the last time that we had a physical altercation was when I was about seven months pregnant, in which time I called the police on him. And I did make a police report, but when they finally caught up with him and his court date came around, I was about to give birth in about a week. So I did drop the charges because I didn't want him to miss his first child being born. So I let it go and tried to give ourselves a fresh start. Um, by the time that my daughter was born, um, we had completely en ended it. I left his home. I didn't want to raise a kid in that kind of environment. And does he contribute, pay child support? Um, no, I haven't received anything. I get things on like birthdays and Christmases and, and stuff here and there, a little something, but. So have you pursued child support? Yes. And what has happened? Nothing. No, through the courts. Yeah, I just haven't received any payments or anything. I mean, I'll pay you, I'll give you so money. Quiet, all sir, I'll let you speak. Do you have an arrearage? A what, sir? I mean, See, honest. they designate a specific amount he's supposed to pay. Do you know yeah. what that is? Yes. Yes, he's supposed to pay 278 a month. All right, and when he doesn't, the court maintains a, a list of the months he missed and it calculates an arrearage, showing that he's a certain number of dollars in arrear. You don't know what that is? Yes, he's 1,000, I think they said 200 and something. They just now, I got it all in pursuit probably about like five months ago. Oh, so he hadn't paid anything then. Yeah. All right. There was no like punching, he would just choke me. Uh, so, the... All right, that's better. That's good to know that that's all it was. No, no punching, just choke you to the edge of life. Good, that's... I'm glad to hear that's all it was. Plaintiff Brittany Zelke has a child with the defendant, and she claims he was a heroin addict who assaulted her when she was seven months pregnant. Sorry, let me hear from you. I mean, Your Honor, I, I mean, what she's talking about with child support, I don't pay through the state. I mean, I do, I give her money, you know, I contribute. Have you been ordered to pay through the state? I do, I have been ordered to pay through the state, but I mean, I don't, and I'm you not. You just say, take it on your own? Well, I just think I'm going to do it my own way. <laughs> no, All I right, mean, make I... sure you tell the judge that when you get locked up and see how that works out for you. <laughs> see how that works out for you. Well, Your Honor, I just chose to pay a little here and there. Uh, outside of your court order. I, you know, I just wasn't impressed by your court order. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't understand how say, they See this. how impressed you are with prison. Boom. <laughs> they keep bringing you back and you don't keep your word or your obligation, then they charge you and jail you for contempt. So go ahead. You say you give a little here and a little there. What does that mean? I give her, you know, when I, when I, when I got, when I, whenever I got, I give if I can. $50, $100, whatever. You know what I mean? She knows that. And she she looking work, over sir? smiling like that when you work? Up. 
I was currently just working. My grandmother just passed away. I was doing home health care for my grandmother. So, okay. I mean, I was working. Uh, I'm not employed right now. All right. What were you doing before then? Um, nothing. <laughs> How long did you do nothing, sir? Uh, probably about a year. Why? Uh, I really had no reason. I mean, I was just, I was just out. You know what I'm saying? I was, Who was supporting you? Me, myself. I was supporting myself. With what? If you weren't working, how were you supporting yourself? You know, I mean, I was just, I was supporting myself. I mean, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's a know. criminal? Um, I guess. I, I, that's what he's, how he supports himself. I have Do no Do criminal idea. activity? No, nah, I don't know. I don't about think about no so, activity. but I don't know. So how, do you, how do you support yourself? Uh, you know, I, I do I do little jobs here and there for people, you know, just to make you right, know make so you, money. You went a year doing odd jobs. Yeah, you know, any 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 little odd job right. I can. Did you finish you know? school? Uh, no, I went to ITT Tech, but okay. I actually had to drop out. Why? Cause she was pregnant, and I was working, and I'm not good at like multitasking like that, so. <laughs> I couldn't, you know what I'm couldn't saying? Go to, you couldn't work during the day and go to school at night? It wasn't working, you know, so I dropped out of school and was just working, you know? Uh, has he been trying, as he says, or he's just talking stuff? Tell him truth. Was he at uh, school? Uh, when I met him, uh, within the first six months, I'd say he wasn't in school anymore. Sir, you a heroin? No, sir. Okay. You think he snorts or shoots or what? I, he... I don't know. I really well, don't associate with him Well, how like do that. you know he is there? Um, yeah. Because he told me. <laughs> you, and, I was, uh, was. How long ago were you? How long ago? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, six months. How old are you, sir? Third. All right. You come across like a kid, not, not like a man. I was hoping you'd come across like a man. You're embarrassing yourself, coming across like a little kid. <laughs> coming across pitiful, man. Don't embarrass yourself like that. Be a man. She's suing you for 1500 Tell me about the loan. Um, it was February of 2013. I got tax returns back. Um, I recently, I live like probably 100 miles away from him right now. Uh, his excuse on, you know, not being able to have a job or come see his kid is because he doesn't have transportation or this or that. So I loaned him $1,500 and I said, get you a car, go get you a job. And that way you can make money and support your kid and be able to come see her. And he promised me to pay me within the first year to make some kind of payments, you know, with each other. I haven't received anything. And you knew he was on heroin. <laughs> He tells me he's clean almost every time I talk to him. So I try to, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. But that's, it got me here. So. Sir, what are you going to tell me about the loan? I mean, you know, she gave me money. I mean, I, I ain't going to lie. It was, I thought it was a gift. But at the same time, you know, she started asking for the money back. So, you know, I'm not going to lie. She did give me the money. When she asked for the money back, what did you tell her? I mean, I told her. I don't have it. I can't, you know, I ain't got the money. You didn't say this was a gift. I Why mean, are you asking no. for a gift back? That's what you would say if it wasn't a loan. I kept hearing I'd pay, I'll pay What's you later. What's your counterclaim for assault, man? I got to get you out of here. You, you, <laughs> you are becoming an embarrassment. What is uh, 1500 for an assault? assault? For her macing me. Yes. <laughs> with yes. my own mace that yeah. I what gave else? her. She took your own mace from you. No, nah, I mean, you. like, I, I gave it to her as a gift. What else you want to say to continue to embarrass yourself? Can, go ahead, continue. What else you I do to I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Right up. That's right. You don't want to get maced and jumped on again, does it? Like, cause she ain't, Look over she there ain't and say, shut up. She ain't as sweet as innocent as she looked. I uh, know she's not. You, she put that mace on you, Doc. Well, y'all, I just chose to pay a little here and there. Uh, outside of your court order. I, you know, I just wasn't impressed by your court order. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand how say, they See how impressed you are with prison. Boom. Plaintiff Brittany Zelke has a child with the defendant, and she claims he was a heroin addict who assaulted her when she was seven months pregnant. Look over there and I said, shut up, I got my mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're pitiful, man. <laughs> 
I'm trying to keep it lighthearted because I don't want this to be too serious because people start looking at you seriously. They, they're going to stop watching my show. <laughs> it's going to become depressing. I don't want to you. be having them young black men on there who don't pay their child support. They won't go to school. Talking about they can't work and go to school at the same time. When women are working two jobs and going to school and raising kids, he won't do none of that. Talking about he pays $50. I don't want to watch this. This is too depressing. Let me turn this to Judge Judy. At least she tell them off. <laughs> I'm not going to do it like Judge Judy would do you. I'm going to try to keep it light because I want people to keep watching my show despite, <laughs> despite you coming on. All right. Judgment for the plaintiff. Your counterclaim for assault. Did you assault him or was it self-defense? Self-defense. Self-defense. I believe her. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed. I hope he does better and does what he's supposed <laughs> to do. I'm not going to loan him no more money, but, you know, I'm hoping that this, you know, Judge Mathis puts some, you know, insight in your head to start helping out and we ain't got to go through this again.